Angelique. I teach at Form Pilates and today we're going to do an arm workout about five minutes that you can work on on your own at home. All you need is a TheraBand and a mat and then let's get started. And we're going to start with what we call rowing. We typically do it on the reformer but we're going to do it on the mat today using our TheraBand. So you're going to wrap your TheraBand around your feet and just extend the legs long in front of you. Walk your hands forward a little so you have a nice grip on the band. And you're going to start into the sternum. So knuckles together, elbows wide, and you're sitting up as tall as you can. Start by inhaling, and you're going to round your spine back about halfway to the mat. Tuck your tail under and pull your belly button in. And now you're going to pull the straps in towards your sternum. Open the arms out to the sides, and then press your palms back. Your forehead goes forward towards your knees, and you're going to press the band back. So the arms are behind you, so you're really working those shoulders. Now start to circle the arms up and around. You're just going to go to the side and then start to roll up, sit tall, and you start again into your sternum. So again, you're going to lean back, find your curve, pull this band in towards your sternum. Open the arms out to the sides and now press back, your forehead goes towards your knees. So here, really draw your shoulder blades together and now start to circle the arms up and around, reach to the side and then roll up and sit tall. Let's do that one more time. And then roll up. Good. Next, you're going to lift your elbows. You're sitting up as tall as you can. You want to make sure that your wrists are right over your shoulders and your elbows are as high as your shoulders. For this one, you're going to hinge back. So lean back with a tall spine and then reach up, stretch forward. Open the arms out to the side and press back as you go forward. So similar to the first one that we did. Circle the arms up and around, reach to the side, and then roll up, sit tall, and then lift the elbows again. Let's do that again. Lean back, and now lift tall, reach up. Open the arms and press back. So draw the shoulder blades together. And now you circle the arms. And don't forget about scooping your abdominals. And then roll up tall, reach the arms up. Let's do that one more time. And then roll it up. Good. Once we're, uh, since we're here, I want you to bend your knees and we're going to do a few exercises to work on our biceps and triceps. So you're going to have your palms towards the ceiling and you're going to lean back so you're into a C curve. So you're working your abdominals and the arms at the same time. You're just going to curl the arms in towards you. So you're really strengthening the biceps. Good. Now from here, I want you to sit tall, stretch your legs long, lean forward a little bit so you're in a tall spine position, elbows are hugging the body, and you're going to press the arms back. So here you're really working on the triceps, the back of the arms. And then you're going to roll up to sit tall. Good. Now from here, you're going to take the band and you're going to sit on it. So just place the band underneath you, have a seat on it, and you can just sit up tall. You're going into what we call serve. So start with your arms in towards your uh, hips and just stretch the arms long in front of you. So here you're really working on strengthening the shoulders. So just extend the arms. Good. Now you're going to change the uh, grip on your TheraBand. Just turn it around and then open the hands a little wider. So you want your hands towards the end of the band and you're starting here. So now we're working on the shoulders still. You're just pressing up. So you're just going into an overhead press. Really strengthening the shoulders. So now you're just going to think, take the TheraBand and put it to the side. And I want you to come onto all fours, hands and knees. So start with the hands underneath the shoulders and then the knees under your hips. And you're going to extend both legs out behind you. So here you're in a plank position. And we also call that front supported Pilates. So the arms stay straight to start. You really pull your belly button in. And just holding this position, you're strengthening the arms and your back. Now to add more of an arm workout and a back workout, you're going to bend your elbows for Pilates push-ups. Elbows hug the body. So you bend the elbows and then really press into the mat to lift up. Again, bend the elbows and then push up. Let's do two more. Bend and press. One more time. Bend and press. Good. And now lower your knees onto the mat. Let's do that one more time and then we'll go into a stretch. So extend the legs out behind you. Find your plank position. You want a nice straight line between your neck and your uh, tailbone. And then you're going to bend your elbows. And then you push up. Again, bend the elbows and push. Let's 
do two more. Good, and now lower your knees. Let's take a straight stretch here because you're working really hard. So just open your knees wide to the side, and you're going to sit back onto your heels into a child's pose. So just lower the head and stretch the arms long in front of you, and just breathe into the stretch. And then roll up and sit up nice and tall. Good. So that was our arm workout. It's just about five minutes long. You can work, it out, uh, work on it at home on your own. Um, you can find me here at Form Pilates and just visit my website, www.pilatesangel.com.